Hi everybody, welcome back again. Um, just following on from my last video about pat testing 16 amp cables. Um, we're just going to do a quick one about pat testing these adapters. Now you'll come across these quite often where you'll need a 13 amp plug at one end but you'll need a 16 amp adapter that will be, you know, this will be inside a garage or something and this will be hanging out of a window and going off outside to power a I don't know, bouncy castle or something. Um, so how do you pat test those? Well, it's in exactly the same way. You know, you do your vision inspection of the plug, you do your vision inspection of the connector, your vision inspection of the cable. Now, one th question that comes up a lot is um, what cross section, what size cable should this be? And on an adapter like this, the cable should only be 1.5 mil, as you can see there. Now, some people might ask, well, if, why does this cable have to be 1.5 when the cable, 16 amp cable going off is 2.5 and I've got a 16 amp cable on here, then surely this cable um, isn't suitable. Well, if you think about it, we're using a 13 amp plug. So the, the biggest flex size, you know, core, cross section, whatever you want to call it, that you can put into a plug is 1.5 mil. And it's fused at 13 amp. So even though you've got a 16 amp connector on there, you would say, oh, okay, well, that's going to take 16 amp, and that's not right. If you think about it, you're only going to um, be you're protected up to 13 amp. So you know, there's no possible way of pulling any more than 13 amp because obviously the, the fuse will give protection. So if there is a fault with the cable anywhere down the line, you're protected because you're, you're still fused. So that answers that question, hopefully. So you, you do your check. Yeah, you do your check here. Now, this is a slightly different 16 amp connector. I think the screws, um, where's the screws on this one? Oh yeah, they're there. So the screws are there. Check that the, uh, the rubber hasn't been compromised, the kind of uh, IP for water and dust ingress there. And then again, you would just plug that end into the machine, that end into one of your 16 amp adapters, and run a pack test through your machine. This is a two meter um, cable, I think, or 1.5 meter cable, 1.5 mil flex. Um, so I've got that set up on my machine. So the earth reading it gives and the tolerance, you know, I know is, is set correctly. And away you go, do your insulation resistance test and then do your polarity check as well. So hopefully that helps. Got any questions? Let us know.